Okay, real quick. The landing gear um, grub screw that holds the actual skid centered. I already had one strip out and it's buried in the plastic. I'll probably just leave it in there. It didn't even get tight enough before it stripped out. I don't even bother putting the other one in because if you really want to secure it, you can put it. I would get a regular hex screw with a head on it and a little bit oversized in length and run it in. Basically, it just tightens to the very top of the skid inside that area. But what I did instead of that, so I just cut some pieces of blue painter's tape, the uh, the uh, you know the easy release painter's tape, and um, put it put a cup a strip wrapped it around the center line of the carbon tube about one and a half times around, and it actually becomes a pressed fit. You can see a little bit sticking out there that I'll trim off, but anyhow, it's in there. And it still gives you the ability to slide them back and forth just a little bit if you needed to. Um, but that's the way I'm going to hold my skids on because, you know, if they break or something, you want to be able to easily replace it. And if you don't have a spare joiner right there, you're going to have a hard time getting it off. Like, like I said, one of mine's already got a strip screw in it. Uh, it's this one. I can maybe get a fresher Allen wrench and try to get it out, but... I'm gonna go with that for now. It's not a big deal. Anyhow, here's where we're at. Basically the basic frame. Still have to put the motor mounts on. I'm um, getting ready to do that next. Just take caution. If you do you go with those little grub screws, uh, be careful. Some of the holes are maybe a bit undersized. You can maybe ream them out just slightly so you don't strip the screws, but they do strip really easy. And I was using a uh, a ball headed socket so that's probably not the best thing to use for those anyhow because you don't have a lot of contact point but anyhow not a big deal not a game killer but just a little warning be careful and okay, moving on to the motor mounts carbon fiber this is the uh, optional uh, speed controller mounting plate that extends towards the inboard side of the motor mount I've gone ahead and started it those are shouldered screws and they actually fit really snug through the carbon fiber so it'll and through the aluminum for that matter and it so it'll actually just stay there um, which makes it convenient because now I can just mount the motors then I already got the top half going like that so I'll go ahead and put the motors on and then get these on um, you need to put the motors on before you actually mount them to the boom um, you could actually leave the uh, bottom half to the clamp got the motor mount. Loose. One of the motors is mounted. Pretty straightforward again. Very simple. Uh, I'm going with the uh, Multistar 610s from Hobby King. I uh, just decided to go with those. I plan on using this for FPV, so, or at least video for that matter. Wanted something that seemed like it might be a little heavier, but I don't know. Um, I'm going to try them out anyhow and see how they work out. So, anyhow, that's just going to slide on there. Obviously, you've got to get them all uh, leveled out. But uh, this is where they'll go. Just tighten up the screws from the top side, and you're in business. I got a little bit ahead of myself, nothing major, but uh, these are the vibration dampeners. And those should have been installed first through the screws. Um, I assume that's what they are. They're more of like a washer, they're not real soft, so I don't think they do too much vibration dampening, but it's basically just a. Uh, plastic cone washer that the screw sits down in and I think you are going to need to use them nevertheless because the shoulder on the screw actually bottoms out into the thread before it actually starts clamping so um, I'm going to go ahead and pull these screws back out and then insert those on there and then put them back on see how it looks and that's how it mounts so that times four on this one and uh, very easy again you know there's not a lot of mechanics to a quadcopter it's primary, primarily electronic but uh, went to bed together really easy
Okay, so the quads now frame is completely built. He was able to find some nice little button head Allen wrench screws to use for the uh, tray there. And uh, so it's all mounted. Um, it comes with a bunch of these Terrett decals, but they're actually water transfers, believe it or not. Um, anyhow, I'm going to put a few of them on here. I might not even leave them on there, I don't know, but they're water transfers. Comes with about eight or ten of them and some, uh, some striping for orientation. Orange side for me is going to be the front. I am going to set it up as the X4 um, platform instead of the plus or cross X. So, anyhow, that is the Terret 650 Iron Man with Monster Tronic tray. Very easy to assemble. However, the directions are not very complete as far as for somebody that might not have built anything before. Uh, but anyhow, this is it. The next video will be installation of the electronics. I'm still waiting on a few components, but uh, there it is. Thanks for watching.